Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to examine GPU resources on an ESXi and vCenter server. Okay, and in this live demo environment, I'm using the VMware vSphere and one of the HPE server and NVIDIA GPUs I'm using and vCenter server also, vCenter and ESXi both are using. Okay, so to show the GPU resources on an ESX and vCenter, let's quickly log into our demo system and log into the vCenter server. Once we log into the vCenter server, we can see the cluster, data center, cluster, and ESX host. And within our ESX host, if you want to examine our GPU resources, select the ESX host and go to the configure tab in the right pan. From the configure tab, there are multiple options like storage, networking, and virtual machine. You can just uh, scroll down to the exactly to the hardware option. So under hardware section, you, we have uh, options for hardware overview, and we can see the server hardware overview information. And the key inform key tab here is graphics tab. When you select the graphics tab, we can see how many GPU devices are our ESX is is installed. So currently here we can see the graphic device are two graphic devices are running and those are NVIDIA A100 PCIe and it's a 40 GB. So PCIe means peripheral component interconnect express. Okay, so A10 PCIe express 40 GB memory one and another NVIDIA also same model. Okay, and the default this vendor is NVIDIA corporation and configuration type is shared direct. Okay, and normally default is not the shared direct. If you want to modify, just go to the host graphics tab. The default graphic type is, if you want to click on edit, default graphic type is shared, but as per NVIDIA, it's recommend is when, whenever our hardware is installed with the physical GPU processor and we have under the host graphics section, we have to edit and change it to the shared direct option. Okay, that is the vendor shared pass through devices and the shared pass through assignment policy. You can use any one of the assignment policy and currently it's selected as a spread VMs across GPUs best performance. Okay, suppose if you want to use group VMs on GPU until full GPU consolidation, that is also we can select. But remember that whenever we modify this policy, it requires a ESX host to restart. So we can power off all the virtual machine, place the host into maintenance mode. Either you can power off the VM or migrate the VMs to another ESX host, place the host into maintenance mode, and then we can proceed to restart the ESX host to apply all the changes. But currently it's running with a recommended nvidia setting share it direct okay and that information only we can see here activation type share it direct and the configuration type also share it direct and the memory is whatever the device have memory the same memory it will show it here okay and suppose if you want to see how many devices are started using this nvidia gpus means you can just select suppose if i select one device it's currently vms associated with the graphic device are no items found that means there are no vms are connected to this device suppose if i select another nvidia gpu device you can see there are multiple vms are connected so these all the following vms three plus two, so currently five VMs are associated with this graphic card, okay? So that is the one method. Suppose if I want to verify from a ESXi host level, we can connect, the, this is, we are using a vCenter console, we connect the vCenter using vSphere client and verify the devices graphically. If you want to verify this information from the command line, we have to use, yeah, you can use the SSH session, connect to our ESXi host, let's say our ESXi host IP, you can just copy and use the, tool to connect our ESX host and enter the login credentials and let me increase the font for a better view
Okay, so once we connect to the ESX host, if you want to see the uh, command line information, we have command is pretty simple, NVDA and the system management interface. We want to verify the what a GPU device are connected to our ESX server or system. So for the system management information, we need to type the command also. Short word is SMI. So this, it's a simple command to provide all the details, NVIDIA hyphen SMI. When you press enter, you can see all the NVIDIA SMI on a GPU information we can see from the command line. So let me scroll up here. You can see NVIDIA SMI and the currently it is showing the all our virtual GPU manager version 510.85.03 and driver version. Okay, and also we can see the GPU informations. As I mentioned from the graphical uh, vCenter level, we can see there are two GPU devices. So one is zero, another one is one. Two GPU devices are connected and the, the current default status is in enabled state. Okay, and also uh, we can see if you scroll down some more, we can see the another options like uh, these GPUs are connected devices. We noticed how many VMs are connected. Currently, five VMs are connected. That information also we can see in the below. Okay, and suppose if we want to see only specifically to the devices information and VM information, we can use the another command clear. You can type the command ESXCLI and space these are all the graphic devices so the command also include the graph esx cli space graphics space devices space list when you type this information we can see the graphics information uh, seems there is some typo or device spelling is incorrect space list sorry Graphics, ESXL, everything is okay. Let me check the exact command from our slide. So I just now explained NVIDIA SMI. NVIDIA SMI full form is system management interface. So the command ESXLI graphics device list. Okay, there is a typo in the, I mentioned as yes, one letter yes, sorry for that. So when you type device list, we can see the two devices from the command line. So this is the device ID and we can see the vendor name and also the device name is NVIDIA A10 PCIe 40 GB. And also there is a second device that is also same model. Okay, and suppose if I want to see the VM list, same command, just replace the device, remove the device and enter the VM, we will see the VM list also. So currently five VMs are connected to the GPU device. Okay, either we can use individual command or if you want to see the full information, type the command NVIDIA hyphen SMI, system management interface. Even system management interface also provide the same detail and also there are some additional drivers information also we can find. Driver information we can see and NVIDIA GPU device also we can see. Okay, so the same point I highlighted in our slide. So NVIDIA system management interface is a command line utility based on top of the NVIDIA management library in short form NVML intended to aid in the management and monitoring of NVIDIA GPU devices. So the commands we discussed just now, these three commands. The first command NVIDIA hyphen SMI and another command normally for ESX, we are familiar to use ESX CLI command and ESX CFG, but here we are using CLI command space graphics because the GPU full form starts with the G means graphics. So that's same word we are using here graphics device list and another command ESX CLI graphics space VM list. Okay. And why we are using NVIDIA GPU means one of the main common use case for GPU is we are running the VMware with NVIDIA AI ready platform. To run the NVIDIA AI ready platform, the pre requirement in our infrastructure is our servers can be either multi cloud, hybrid cloud, or private cloud. So, the one of the key component in our hardware must run with a GPU device, graphics processing unit. It's specifically for application acceleration. This application can run on a virtual machine guest OS level, or it can be an enterprise grade Kubernetes application, which is vSphere with Tanju. 
okay so tanju you have all these additional capabilities and we can run nvidia aie enterprise on this top of the vsphere with tanju so that we can able to run the applications of artificial intelligence data analytics applications and also we can share the virtual gpu to virtual machines and we it will help you to enhance the performance okay so this is the use case high level overview thank you and if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now